Magic means a lot to me. It's been a way for me to meet really interesting people. It's been a way for me to express myself, uh, particularly during an awkward phase in my youth. Uh, but f right now, I think what magic means is it gives me a chance to kind of communicate to people a, a vision of a larger world where there are more possibilities. And that's fun. Watching that happen for people is amazing. And it's great. I heard this was the fun group. Let's try it again. What is it called? Watch the stick. What are you supposed to do? Watch the stick. What are you going to watch? The stick. Very good. Do not watch the handkerchief. The handkerchief is just here to distract you. It's called watch the stick. Do not watch the handkerchief. What's it called? Watch the stick. That's right. Watch the stick. Watch the stick. And this. Oh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, thank God. I better put that away so I don't lose it. I think the first time people think about becoming a professional magician, Sir, would you say it's usually when somebody asks them if they do a show and they foolishly say yes. But for me, I think it was the moment, the first time I actually fooled my parents. The first time you fool your parents is a big deal for a magician because they're the people who know you the best and they know if something's but off in your demeanor sort of or you're day. moving in a weird way. And so when you actually fool and amaze your parents, that's a huge step. Now you feel like you can conquer the world. I went to the Library of Congress, found this great stuff that nobody had seen for hundreds of years. And I still have some of that material in my show today. Um, so one of the reasons I like it is because people haven't seen it, it's different. And another reason I like it is because it's lasted so long, the stuff that people are still doing transcends time and culture. It's the classics, just like there are classics in music, classics in art. These are things that have, have risen to a level where there are certain tricks I can go anywhere in the world and do them and people will understand, even if I don't speak the language. And that really appeals to me. I believe in magic, yes. I mean, watch a mother with a baby. Pick it up, it's crying, the baby's crying. She picks it up, she holds it, and she whispers to it, everything's going to be all right, it's going to be all right, it's all right. And it is. So I think there really is magic, we just don't always recognize it. And I think magic, among all the other arts, helps us to really expand our vision into a larger world. It opens a door into a larger world for people. Um, and magic serves another very important purpose. It reminds us that no matter how clever we are, we can always still be fooled. And here in Washington, D.C., the capital of deception, I think it's especially useful to have magicians. And I thank you. Yeah.